All right, man. As all of you know, we finally got to see Russell Wilson play in his first game of the season, and a lot of people criticized Mike Tomlin for starting Russ over Justin Fields because Justin Fields had the Steelers at a 4-2 and two record, and people didn't see a reason why you should bench him. But in this first game against the New York Jets, Russ looked to be the better quarterback, and if he continues to play like he just did, this Pittsburgh Steelers team actually can become a true contender. The offense was clicking on all cylinders, and Russ was making a lot of great throws, and we all knew the offense had some untapped potential potential and we finally got to see that. So what I wanted to do is go into his last game against the Jets who are a great defense and see how he was able to have success. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so on the first play right here, it's pretty simple. All we're trying to get is Russell Wilson an easy completion. So we're going to get a little play action. Like a run into the left. We're going to get this receiver motioned across before the snap to try to get everybody flowing this way, flowing this way because Russ is going to fake that roll out this way, and then we have Darnell acting like he's blocking and getting out in the flat. We have this tight end getting on top of him on a little corner or out route. And then we have George Pickens coming behind everything on a dig or a crosser, and Russ is literally just reading this one to two to three as he rolls out. Super simple. You're just trying to get him an easy completion. Like I said, you're hoping the play action pulls these backers down, and it does. You see these guys driving down for the run, run, run. Darnell faking like he's blocking, throw this guy off, and then get out in the flat. And all Russ has to do is dump it over the top of him and let Darnell go do his thing. Darnell has looked good over these past couple of weeks or so far this year. He's showing the talent that he has. And I've really liked him being more involved in the offense. Watch it right here. Get those guys flown to the left. You see him step down in the gap. That allows Russ to get out, and it also allows Darnell to get open right here. Works out to perfection. The Steelers are able to get a nice gain. Good job giving Russ something easy to work with to build his confidence. Next play here, and this play right here shows the biggest difference between Fields and Russell Wilson, in my opinion, and it's the biggest reason why this offense saw so much success. George Pickens, as we all know, is the Steelers' best player on this offense. And if you have him in a one-on-one -on -one opportunity, you should probably take that shot and throw it up to him because this guy, I feel like, comes down with almost every single contested catch that he gets an opportunity to catch. And Russell Wilson knows that, so he's going to give him those opportunities. Now, Justin Fields, even if he has one-on-one, -on -one, he's scared to be aggressive at times, and that holds this offense back. But Russ is going to give his guy a chance, and that's what he does right here. So all the Steelers are running is a simple play action, trying to get these backers to step up because behind these backers, you have crosser, crosser, and then underneath them, you have the running back getting out here and Darnell getting out underneath here, and then Pickens is just a clear out. But if Pickens is one-on-one, -on -one, you can take that shot if you want to. And what I like from Russ right here is the first thing he looks at when his eyes turn to the defense after the play action, watch him, boom, his eyes go straight to the safety. Straight to the safety. And when he sees this safety coming down and this safety spinning over the top, he knows he has his guy, George Pickens, one-on-one. -on -one. Throw it up and let your guy go make a play. And that's exactly what he does. Not the greatest ball ever, but if you just give him a jump ball, he's probably going to find a way to come down with it like he does right there. Amazing catch. Just give your guy a chance. Give your best player a chance. That's all we're asking. And it paid off big time in this game, even against really good corners. Watch Russ right here. His eyes go straight to the safety. Boom. On the safety. He's spinning. I got it. Throw it. Outstanding job. Huge chunk play. Let's go. Next play here. I like this concept that Arthur Smith is trying to run here. And Russell Wilson does an outstanding job to make this play work. So all we're going to get is a three levels concept like we saw earlier. We're going to get play action here. We're going to get Darnell coming and acting like he's pulling to block. We're also going to get this tackle pulling to block. And we're really trying to make it look like a run flowing this way because we want those backers to flow, like I said earlier. And then behind it, all we're going to have is Fryermuth getting underneath it on a drag, Pickens on top of him on a crosser, and then this guy, deep corner pylon route. And all Russ looks at is one, two, to three as he rolls out here. But what you're going to see happen is he's going to get immediate pressure, and he's going to have to make a play. So right when he flips around to roll out, he has somebody taking an angle on him, so he has nowhere to go. He's screwed right here unless he makes a crazy play. But what he does is keeps his eyes downfield, and man, this is a heck of a play. He stops in his tracks and then flips his hips and flicks that ball out to the Friar Muth on the money, and it leads to an absolutely massive gain. And I'm not going to lie. Justin Fields probably doesn't make that play. He either tries to run or he takes a sack. But right here, 
Russ is able to get that throw out. And that's just super high-level stuff on a short throw. Right when he turns around, the guy's in his face, has to stop in his tracks, kind of sidearm that football out to Pat Fryermuth on an awkward angle. Just an outstanding job. Huge chunk for the Steelers. Next play here, once again, love this from Russell Wilson. All we got is a little verticals type concept. So go here, seam here, seam-ish crosser route here, go here, and then the running back is getting out underneath everything as your check down. But Russ, like I said earlier, if he sees his guy one-on-one, -on -one, it doesn't matter who is guarding him right here at Sauce Gardner. That would scare a lot of quarterbacks, but it doesn't scare Russ. He sees one high safety. He knows all he has to do is pull that safety to the other side of the field if he wants to throw this, and that's what he does. He looks to the left side of the field. This safety stays right here and even drifts over just a tad bit, and that gives him enough space to be able to throw this ball to George Pickens one-on-one. -on -one. That's what he does. Throw it up. Let your guy have a chance, and it leads to a pass interference for a huge gain. Obviously, it doesn't count as yards, but giving your guy a chance leads to pass interferences too, and it does right here, and this puts the Steelers in a great position. Once again, love the aggressiveness, giving your guy a chance. It's going to turn out good for you. Next play here, once again, Russ. You see your guy one-on-one. -on -one. You're in the red zone. You're on the 10-yard line. This is, an this is a super, super high percentage chance when you have George Pickens especially if it's not Sauce Gardner guarding him, and it's not right here. You have to take this every single day of the week. There's literally no safety over here in this, unless this guy drops back into it, but it doesn't look like he's going to, so you have a one-on-one -on -one chance, and Russ knows that immediately. Quick game footwork, get the ball out, and Russ puts this ball right on the money. George Pickens goes up and uses his hands to catch it. Throw the ball to your best player. Don't be scared to be aggressive. You see Russ checking something right here. He wants that one-on-one -on -one um, with George Pickens from the beginning of the, before the snap even comes, and he knows where he's going before he snaps the football. Snap it, get your eyes there, get it out quick. Right on George Pickens, great job holding it in, using strong hands, touchdown Steelers. Next play here, the Jets are obviously in straight man coverage. They like to run man because they have good players in the secondary, and the Steelers are literally just going to run a play that's supposed to beat man every single time. So all you're going to see the Steelers run right here is both outside receivers are going to come in and run sits, and they're just trying to get in the way of these guys right here because the slot receivers, or the tight end right here in this case, is just going to stutter, 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 and they get underneath the sit and run up the sideline on a little slot fade. Same thing over here, and Russ can pick whichever side he wants. Right here, they have a high safety leaning towards this side, which leads Russ to believe he wants to throw it over here, and that's exactly what he does. All you got to do is get it out quick, get it out in front, and let your guy go make a play. Russ trusts it. He knows he has one-on-one -on -one coverage. Obviously, Firemuth has a step right here. He's winning already. And right when Russ sees that, he's letting that football go off his back foot, and he puts it right out in front of him. Obviously, Firemuth makes a great catch, but that's really not a bad ball. Maybe an inch out in front. Maybe Firemuth could have dove and used two hands if he wanted to. But either way, it ends up being a completion with pressure in Russ's face. You love to see that he stands in there, isn't scared of the pressure, still gets the ball out, puts it out in front, and Fryermuth makes a great play for another big chunk. Next play here, it looks like the Jets are in some type of man coverage, but what it looks like to me is that this guy has anything outside and this guy has anything inside, and this ends up killing the Jets because what the Steelers run is he's coming off the ball really, really slow and then running an out, and then George Pickens is coming off the ball really, really slow as well and running a corner, so it makes these guys not know where to go because they don't know what they're running because it comes slow off the ball and it works out to perfection. So all Russ is really reading here is high, low here, and if it's not open, you have Darnell Washington coming across on a dig or a crosser on the backside as your number three. But right here, it's going to work out to perfection. Russ is looking at number one, that out. Number 11 does a great job coming off the ball slow, stuttering, and you can see these guys get confused. He's not running with him for some reason. He's thinking maybe Pickens is going to come in here and he's going to take out. Not exactly sure, but they get confused. Russ sees it, delivers a great ball for a touchdown. I mean, the Steelers offense is looking pretty good, man. Get the motion across, you see somebody follow, you know they're in some type of man coverage, but it looks like they're in some type of switch man, and they get confused, and the Steelers capitalize on it for a touchdown. Great job. Next play here, another great job by Russ. All we're going to get is big play action. Once again, trying to get these backers to step up because we have George Pickens clearing out. We have this receiver clearing out. And then we have Calvin Austin coming up underneath everything on a deep crosser. And then you have two check downs if you didn't like this crosser. But this is really what we're trying to hit. 
We're trying to get a big play action, get these guys to step up, and then clear out everything else in the secondary. So we'll have a big window. And uh, man, <laughs> works out to perfection. You get the play action. These backers are stepping up heavy. As you can see, exactly how they're supposed to or exactly how you want them to. Calvin Austin does a great job of cutting underneath George Pickens right as George Pickens gets past him. And that's what allows for all of this space. Russ sees it with pressure in his face, still gets the ball out, doesn't panic, sees his guy open, just puts it out there nice and easy, and it leads to another huge, huge chunk for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm not used to seeing this offense look this explosive, man. If you can make an offense this explosive with the defense that they have, this is a team you should be scared of. And I'm excited to see how Russ continues to play throughout the season and hopefully can keep this level of play up because it's going to be really interesting to see what happens if he does.